ever cared about in your life is nugs, chilling, and grinding. You're A, B, C. I'm in the mood to scale. Does that play the road of a one by two? Hello and welcome to Cinematic Apocalypse. Unfortunately, this episode we are watching the notorious Howard the Duck. Weirdly enough, this movie is actually the first feature-length film about a Marvel character. What's even weirder is that it was produced by George Lucas. Incidentally, this film nearly bankrupted Lucas and director Willard Huck never worked again. Howard the Duck stars Leah Thompson just one year after her performance in the hit film Back to the Future. In Back to the Future, Leah Thompson's character develops a sexual fixation towards her own time-traveling son. In Howard the Duck, her character develops a sexual fixation towards a talking duck from another planet. I don't know what was going on with Leah Thompson in the 80s, but apparently she was into some freaky shit. The film also features a young Tim Robbins making a total ass of himself in his pre-Shawshank Redemption days. Oh, and there's the sex offender guy from Ferris Bueller. So put down that issue of Play Duck and join us as we watch one of the dumbest movies ever made. I'm Chris. I'm Christine. I'm Ben. Steve. Same. And today we're watching Howard the Duck, so get ready to watch some hardcore duck porn. Oh my god, this is George Lucas? Yeah, doesn't it explain a lot? Oh my... <laughs> Considered one of the worst movies of all time, developed a cult following. <laughs> it's like it's Wikipedia thing. That's kind of impressive, I guess. Oh, Tim Robbins? He's gonna have to tunnel out of this movie, too. And Tim Robbins waited through 30 years of <laughs> So is the whole world ducks? No, because he bangs a woman. The, the, this is like his, his world. He's on a different planet right now. Oh, uh, okay. It's like a duck planet. It's a cold planet. Oh, okay. <laughs> a harsh planet. A duck planet. <laughs> the interview this month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a kid's movie. I could be wrong about that. Never mind. <laughs> they didn't have PG-13 movies when this came out. So this is PG. Yeah, it was before yeah. they created the PG thirteen rating. Well, you know they didn't want to talk to their kids. Oh my about. god! No. Duck what the hell? Get it's out the of here! Out of here! Duck, man. yeah, bro. It's kind of like that movie Thor, only more stupid. <laughs> well, Leah Thompson, open your wormhole. <laughs> In these galaxies, every possible reality exists. That sounds a lot more convincing when you're tripping balls. Totally, man. Yeah, this happened to me once. I was I was just watching, you know, the Lifetime channel like I usually do. And I got sucked into another dimension, and I fucked a duck lady. <laughs> she was begging for. That was before I met you, though, honey. Don't. I don't, mean, don't those duck tits are pretty. They were very nice, right? <laughs> I, mean, I said the same thing. Yeah, man. They weren't right. bad. They weren't bad, dude. And I could make her go. <laughs> 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 so, what's his superpower? He's a duck. Yeah, in a human world. He's got all the powers of a a. a a duck. Yeah. Oh. He also has a foot-long corkscrew-shaped penis. That is a fact. That is, that is a scientific fact, Ben. Talk about a rotten day. Oh, He's wow. like Garfield on oh, Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Just saw your show! Oh, right, righteous lady, thanks. love your music! Hey! Bye now! Can I have your autograph on my shirt? Oh, me too! On my shorts! <laughs> Real charming, just go away, okay? Hey! Ow! I'm talking to you, big Nothing man. screams family like a little bit of alleyway rape. <laughs> I was just gonna say. You scum have pushed me over the line. Jimmy? 
Do you like to see what I see? A talking duck? Yeah, that's <laughs> it. I've been doing too much toot. What is toot? Oh. A little it's, bit too much of that too, mate. Yeah, that, that's the PG version of methamphetamine. Yeah. <laughs> this is a public service announcement. Hello, I'm here to talk to you about the dangers of toot addiction. Toot is the new drug that has been devastating our local communities. It's 10 times more addictive than methamphetamines and 10 times more deadly than heroin. If that's not bad enough, nine out of 10 teenagers admit to injecting it into one or more of their nipples. Don't you tell me you know what addiction like till you've seen a two fiend. You ever had to suck a duck's dick? It's over a foot long, corkscrew shaped. Man, I've seen shit that would haunt your dreams. I've been addicted to toot for years. I'd say my stranger side effect is my unwanted pregnancies coming out like giant fucking duck eggs, but they do make great omelets. Doing toot just one time can cause drastic consequences. Just look at these disturbing before and after photos. Some of the side effects of toot addiction include unwanted feather growth, toot bill, and penile corkscrewing. If someone you know is addicted to toot, we recommend that you shoot him in the fucking face. He's he is very skilled in quack foo. Where do I? Where can I learn quack food? So you gotta George Lucas. George Lucas has a black belt in being a quack. <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? Yeah. Uh, crotch. That was definitely crotch. <laughs> well, we've been playing in these grungy mung holes, waiting for our big break. I love when movies create their own like lingo. Grungy mung holes. Yeah, mung holes. I'm doing too much too. Uh, listen, uh, would you like something to eat or, um, drink, uh, milk? I could put it in a bowl. Oh, doll, I don't drink out of bowls. What the f do ducks eat? Bread. Bread. Yeah, my Ducks like beer. I don't yeah. think they, like in nature, like what they are they like cigarette yeah. butts. Yeah, they <laughs> cigarette butts. Yeah, in nature most of the time, yeah. Why would you want to choose this movie? <laughs> I think why would you not want to choose Cause, this movie? Because because at one point this chick fucks this duck. That's yeah. that's that basically yeah. that's yeah. basically. That's the whole reason behind this choice. Yes. Yeah, my parents wanted me to be a doctor, a plastic surgeon, making big bucks doing big jobs, tail tucks. What happened? <laughs> Crystal meth. Two. Toot, Sam. Ah, a bit of that good old toot. <laughs> that oh my god, oh! what? Oh, wow. It's not even in a wrapper. Look, yeah, she's like 50. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little uh, unsanitary, buddy. Dude. That, that looks like that was an like, already used one that just rolled back up and got ready for the next time. How yeah. are you is it bestiality or a love story? I'm can sh both? I am shocked by what I just saw. Can't I, I like can't, I can't even comprehend that. I wonder how it's gotta be like long, right? You said it's foot long though, dick. It's not foot long. Yeah, it is. No. Duck long corkscrew. I'm telling you, ducks have they giant. They may be corkscrews, but they're not it's foot long. Yeah, they are. Corkscrewed for her pleasure. I'm about I, to right now. Go ahead. Frankly, eye watering? Cosmo magazine? What the hell? Yeah, I guess Leah Thompson wrote this. I'm gonna, it's gonna be on the screen right now. A big old duck cock, like right on the. He's gonna edit it in there right now. Duck cock, right here. <laughs> <laughs> And a star is born. <laughs> yeah, that's the clip they saw when they casted him for Shawshank Redemption. They were like, God damn it, that's our man. <laughs> Howard, quit holding out. I want you to concentrate and read my mind. He's been cooking meth in his lab for like six months. Toot. Oh, Sam. toot. Toot. 
John Cusack, Robin Williams, and uh, Martin Short auditioned for the voice of Howard. Why? George Lucas. Who is the voice of Howard? Chip Zine, I don't know. Who in the hell is that? No idea. He said adios to his wings. His mental capacity increases. He begins to develop. Beverly? Shopping malls? <laughs> no. Women be shopping, am I right? <laughs> 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 Now, you do know why you were sent to me. Is this lady Eddie Murphy in a costume? <laughs> in fact, I think I got just the position for you. Mm. <laughs> this movie is filthy. That's some That's movies, a side view. Yeah, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Took me a second to realize. Dude, what whoa. is happening? Where's he working? This has the most nudity of like any novel? PG movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Creepy little dude. Hey! That guy should have been played by Stan Lee. <laughs> His yeah. first cameo. Right, yeah. <laughs> That, see, that's the proper reaction. Yeah. Screaming yeah, in terror. Exactly. I'm not in a real good mood tonight, Ginger. I want the girl's money. Now, is this gonna be easy? See, here's what you do. You, no, ki you kill funny. Howard the Duck, you take a chicken and you stuff it inside yeah. of Howard the Duck, and then you take that and then you stuff it inside a turkey. And if it matches, It'll be the answer to all your Matches. problems. No, you don't. <laughs> Stay away from me. Uh, you'll leave Let alone. me through. Ow, ow. Get up, get up. Get up. I'm about to unravel the mystery of your arrival. And that was the moment that Andy Dufresne snapped. Is <laughs> <laughs> this how Skrillex makes beats? <laughs> Great man. I'm gonna suggest it to the girls. I've given up trying to assimilate. Mm -hmm. I've got to get back to my own kind. Oh my good yeah. lord. Oh. And here we I go. This is it. What looks like it. Uh, <laughs> something's happening. <laughs> Just can't seem to find the right man. Maybe it's not a man you should be looking for. Uh, you think I might find happiness in the animal kingdom, Ducky? Why? Oh, it's so classic, like, fucking 40s movie. Where will it all lead? Marriage? Kids? A house in the suburbs? Let's just face it. It's fate. Hey! That guy's a sex offender. <laughs> Which one? The principal from Ferris Bueller. You know, really? I, yeah. I, I knew We're that. Gonna... I was gonna wait to bring it up like subtly, but you, you, you wanted to say the first two seconds he's on screen. <laughs> Red dot. Red dot on the map. That's, that's Did good. not know that. That's one way to do it. <laughs> I can explain how you got here. Okay, I want to hear this. <laughs> yeah. When the beam hit, you must have been caught up in a massive energy inversion which literally dragged you through space back to the power source here on Earth. Oh, now it all makes sense. Ah, oh, totally. I do keep wondering of all the alleys in the world I could have fallen into that night. Why did it have to be yours? Yeah, this is just like Casablanca if, you know, Humphrey Bogart fucked a duck. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking at you, Egg. <laughs> oh, my eyes, my eyes. That was my exact reaction to Howard <laughs> the Duck. This does not bode well. That was my second reaction to Howard the Duck. <laughs> you okay? Whoa. I don't know, Howard. Sometimes you gotta get busy living. You gotta get busy dying. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this movie ends with Howard hanging himself. 
rounding up all the scientists for you in the lab, sir, but I think you better take a look at this other, uh, this other thing first. A thing? Hey, 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 let me go, you big girl. What do you think on my planet? We never say die. We say, not my shorts. Too bad this is before cell phones, because I'm pretty sure this yeah. would get them all. Duck all lives started. matter. Yeah. Come on, cover. Desperate ducks come in desperate acts. He's dangerous. What? Extremely dangerous. Shoot to kill. And thus the video game Duck Hunt was born. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't shoot. We give up. Time out. We surrender. Oh. Dr. Jenny? What? A pain. It's like I'm transforming inside. I'm afraid I'm about to become something else. Oh, great. Like a sex change or something. He's changing into a sex fund. <laughs> this is when it happened. <laughs> That's funny, Jenning. I'm not Jenning anymore. The transformation is complete. I'm a woman. A beautiful woman. I am now one of the dark overlords of the universe. Mm, dark overlord of the universe? The eggs. Get them out of here. Gosh, you know, hostility is like a psychic boomerang. Oh, snap. Yeah, what? She just called oh, karma. Oh, she hey. just called karma on me. Oh, I ducks. I can't even pay attention to stupid movies. Oh my god, his eyes are turned blue. Yeah. Oh, but now he's on the page. My eyes caught on fire once when I watched Howard the Duck. No, Beverly! And the Terminator sequence begins. <laughs> <laughs> I know my rights! Where's my baseball cap? Shut up. Ashes! And this was the yeah. first time Andy Dufresne was sent to prison. Not too long after that, at the Shawshank Warden's office. Sir, of course I would never tell anyone about what goes on in this office. If anyone were to find out, I would be just as indictable as you are. You shut your f***ing mouth, you little piece of shit. Just trying to put your mind at ease, sir. Don't you ever speak of money in this office again. Go! I'm gonna take you down, make you watch Howard the Duck. What? No. Or am no. I being obtuse? No! Not Howard the Duck! Anything but that! No! No! You know, hostility is like a psychic boomerang. I can't believe this planet. Andy was never quite the same after that day. They say that stupid movie melted his brain. Poor old Andy spent the rest of his life eating dirt with a spoon. Man, what do you think would be worse? Climbing through a big tunnel of diarrhea like in the Shawshank Redemption or watching Howard the Duck? Oof. Well, at least I know there's some absolution crawling out some shit. Yeah, it'd be more rewarding. I, end, I don't I know what the night's gonna end up after this. Yeah. It's not doing anything. Cops! Hey, I've heard Springfield. Da 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 da. Oh my god! A lot of Leah Once Thompson again, butt in this movie. Right. It's good for the whole family. <laughs> no, no, don't shoot. I'm an innocent hostage. The duck's a lunatic. What? Uh, he's a duck terrorist. He hijacked the plane. He abducted him. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Welcome back, Filzy. Thanks. It's great to be back, Howard. I can't believe this scene is still going on. Yeah, it's like this, the pod racing this scene is, from <laughs> Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the inspiration for the pod racing scene. It, it makes a lot of sense. Never ending. And for uh, Red Tails. 
sick, bro. Extreme. Chuck Norris. Donald Norris. I bet you will just say Donald. Turn me into a dark overlord. I'll still spit in your wormy face. Laser spectroscope is now targeting the nexus of Sominus. That's my metal band, by the way, guys. The nexus, nexus of Sominus. Sominus. <laughs> He's got the Ark and the Covenant on his side. <laughs> Dark Overlord, I want you. In Voldemort? Who's <laughs> oh, look at that What? Go, 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 No, the claymation is so terrible. So yeah. unconvincing. It looks like a freaking, uh, what are they the called? Rancor. Rancor. Yeah. yeah. Boy, he really should have done that like 10 f minutes ago. Yeah. The movie would have been 10 minutes shorter, though. We don't want that. No. You know, Cherry Bomb is okay, but there's certainly no dragon sound. really got into Howard in the early days when we were trying to save the universe, but when I realized his music potential, <laughs> I became the sound engineer. Like. Yeah, I was a scientist, a renowned scientist. Wow, that was a lot of inappropriate sex stuff, right? Duck nipples, wallet condom, play duck, attempted alleyway rape, Howard working in some kind of sex spa, bestiality, and worst of all, Jeffrey Jones. Yikes. Anyway, let's review. As you may know, Howard the Duck was originally a comic book. The comic book has adult themes and subject matter similar to something like the well-known Deadpool series. It's not really for children. However, this PG-rated film seems to be targeted towards a much younger audience. This decision was almost certainly made in an attempt to make more money, yet for some reason they decided to keep all the bizarre sexual stuff. But let's forget about all that for a moment and focus on the positive aspects of the film, meager as they may be. In the prose column, even though it was criticized at the time, in retrospect, the duck puppet costume looks pretty good. It cost $2 million to make, and the actors playing Howard did a good job with the fight choreography and whatnot. Leah Thompson is also pretty charming, despite her character being a weird animal sex pervert. She worked on her own costume, and she actually sang those terrible songs, so we gotta give her some credit. And in the cons column, this film is not suitable for children, or adults. At first glance, it seems like some sort of family-friendly fish-out-of-water story about a wacky alien or something. But then they hit you with the duck nips and everything just goes to hell. And adults probably won't like it either because... The plot is boring and poorly paced. Howard magically travels to Earth through a laser beam in the first five minutes, then proceeds to spend the next hour dicking around with Leah Thompson. Finally, there is an inciting incident when Thompson is kidnapped by Jeffrey Sex Offender Jones, but then the rest of the film consists of an excruciatingly long chase scene, followed by a convoluted conclusion with like four different endings. Not to mention the script is terrible. Any of the original comic's edgy humor has been toned down in an attempt to appeal to a wider audience. The dialogue is childish and corny, which makes the weird sex jokes feel wildly out of place. The soundtrack is also straight up irritating. Despite a decent performance by Leah Thompson, the songs themselves are pretty awful, especially the theme song Howard the Duck, which was nominated for a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Original Song in 1986. We give Howard the Duck a D-. This movie is famously terrible for a reason. The script is absurd, the plot is poorly paced, some of the acting is downright embarrassing, the soundtrack is obnoxious, it's, it's just generally an unpleasant experience all around. 
What's even worse, our ironic watchability rating puts it at our lowest score yet, a D+. On paper, Howard the Duck seems like the kind of movie we'd really enjoy. It has a laughably stupid concept and plot, interestingly cheesy special effects, and it was made by known lunatic George Lucas. But sadly, we mostly just felt bored and annoyed throughout the film. The only real reason to watch this movie is for the weird sex stuff. It's the sort of film you put on when you got a few friends over and you've all been drinking. No one's really paying attention to the movie, but every once in a while you can point at the screen and say, Hey, he's reading porn, or look, Leah Thompson's f***ing a duck. Outside of that, it doesn't have much value. There is a silver lining to this whole thing, however. At the time Howard the Duck came out, George Lucas had just finished building the $50 million Skywalker Ranch. After the movie fell at the box office, Lucas was in big financial trouble. But luckily for Lucas, his friend Steve Jobs was there to help. As a favor, Jobs bought Locusfilm's new computer animation department for a price much higher than what it was currently worth. Several years later, that department became Pixar Animation Studios. So in other words, Howard the Duck inadvertently led to the creation of Pixar. Weird, eh? And that'll do it for us. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.